Hello guys, welcome back to another episode, and it's actually the same day as the last episode was actually recorded. I'm probably going to put this one up tomorrow, but uh, one thing I wanted to go over was not about this, I just wanted some to vape on during our chatting, because we actually haven't built what we're going to go over today. Today we're going to go over this little tiny sucker. Here's the size difference. There is a huge difference between those two. This is actually called the Derringer Atomizer from Praxis Vapors. Yeah, from Praxis Vapors. This is a version one. This is a legit um, Derringer. This is not a clone or a V2. And it's got a really interesting uh, 510 drip tip. This is not capable with any others I have in my position anyways. Sorry for that text. Anyways, um, it's got this weird interesting bore going on the inside of it. And it's actually a good vape. It uh, actually makes the flavor really good. Now, the O-rings are not really that good on this one. So I just pop this off, as you told. Oh, excuse me, we do not have a build in there, and this ring does come off, but it is very difficult, not on a mod, but we are actually going to slap a build in this. Uh, this is going to be a little bit longer video because I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about one of my hobbies also, well, one of the multiple. As you can tell, it's just a three post uh, deck. I am actually missing... A screw for this negative post over here so I have to go get another one so I can only run this in single coil on either side it doesn't really matter because I can flop the negative screw for whichever side I want it to be on it does have a protruding uh, 510 adjustable copper pin and this is actually if I believe right this is safe to use on your mech mods because it has a protruding adjustable 510 pin and I've actually saw a few different uh, reviewers using these on tube mods and mech mods so I believe you can because it is a protruding uh, adjustable 510 pin so that's what we're going to be building today and I will go over what build we're going to put in it But one of my hobbies that you're going to see in the studio, uh, we're going to be moving over there here soon, is actually uh, Hot Wheels. I do collect them. Uh, some I leave in the package and some I actually modify like this one here. As you can tell, it's been trimmed on the fender wells and everything. And this is a metal one. But I switched the frame around and stuff like that just because it's one of the things I like to do. I don't know what happened in the grill with it. Uh, one of my nieces and nephews ended up getting a hold of it. But uh, yeah, that's one pretty sick truck. And then I actually have a couple others I'm working on. Like a van. Uh, the axles ended up getting ripped out. It's I believe in the 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s Chevy van. And my dad used to have a lot of these, so this is uh, one of my favorite. And that's how you can tell the interior just fell out, and that's how the axles fell out. Then I also have a Bronco that I'm doing a frame swap on. This is actually a, a NASCAR frame. This was a lifted Bronco, and I was making a little lowrider. Just never ended up finishing it. I have a couple other ones floating around. Yeah, that's one thing that you guys are going to end up seeing, as well as some other random stuff. And uh, there's actually one that I was thinking about leaving in the box, but um, you can't really see it that well. But uh, yeah, it's a 59 Chevy wagon, and the only and the reason why I'm kind of thinking about pulling it out is the canoe and everything does not look realistic. You can obviously tell that's plastic. I was thinking about uh, finding a way to paint it and make it look a lot more realistic. But yeah, that's one of the newest ones in my collection. 
that used to have a, a bunch when I was a kid, and then I ended up losing a good chunk of them. And my brother actually got me back into it. So it's pretty cool. There's something else to do. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and we will uh, bring you guys down. And <clears throat> we will talk about the build that we're going to throw in this. And probably end up actually... Uh... God, apparently everyone wants to hit me up right now. I do apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I've got my little uh, coil building case here. All my different screwdrivers and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and bring you guys down and we'll start throwing build in this derringer. All right, so we've got you flipped around here and we've got the derringer and we're gonna go ahead and throw a build in this here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think the best way we're gonna end up putting a build in is probably go ahead and throw it in this way. I think this way it worked the best is the way that positive is angled. Because you see it's kind of angled one way this way and one way a little bit the other way. That way it makes it a little bit easier trying to put a build in either side. So I'll just go ahead and back these out a little bit. And the size of build I'm putting in here is actually a pretty good size single coil build. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the screwdriver for that. The build that we're going to actually be using is let's see that's higher. I don't think that was it. I think this was it. Well, let me go ahead and check here. All right, so the build we're going to throw in is actually a four wrap. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Four wrap triple twisted 26 gauge canthal and I actually have a couple of these different builds and this one should read out at about a 0.31 to a 0.32 ohm area is what this one should run out at and it is actually wrapped around a I believe it's a 5 sixteenths uh, mine weren't actually labeled. Uh, this is the bit that it was wrapped around. See, so it has a little bit of slack. And I actually wrapped this with a drill. Made it a lot easier to work with this material. And I'll have a video showing you how to actually uh, make one of these coils. If you guys are interested. Okay, from here on, uh, I'm going to try to do a time lapse. So I'll bring you guys right back. And... Hopefully we'll get this done quicker.
So I hope that you guys enjoyed that quick little time lapse. And that's how I figured out that I like to wake my Derringer and don't worry with this IPv3 LI. I actually uh, disconnected the touch screen here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and throw our uh, air ring back on. Actually, let's go ahead and wick this up first. Alright, so got some juice that we're going to use, and uh, I'm going to have a review about this juice. And at least my bottle, anyways, this is complete mislabeling right here. At, for, at least for my bottle. I think I know what happened, but anyways, this is juice we're going to use because, uh, well, I have 100 milliliters of it. Yes, it is a 3 milligram nick, and it is high VG. So, let's... Uh, Go ahead and crack this open. Let's get our bottle. And as you tell, it's the same. I'm going to shake this up real quick. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, look this up here. With some... Uh, what they call a candy rush and then we will vape on the sucker oh overdid it sorry i just cleaned and alcoholed this rda and everything so i think kind of needed to be lubed up anyways get some down there to those wick some over here and the reason why I did it on that side is because this is a very small, small RDA. And there's not really much wick room, and this is the best way I found to wick this, especially in single coil configuration. Alright, so I think that's about good. Now let's go ahead and throw it together and vape on it. So as you tell the ring has two different airflows this is actually dual coil and this is single coil so that's how I'm gonna to want to put it on and usually with single coil a lot of people just leave this ring off because it's actually a pain in the butt to get on alright got the ring put back on we got it in single coil I got the center uh, hidden about the middle of the coil. It's about where I like to have it. So, and uh, see, we are running this at this is at 40. Uh, we're going to actually bump this up to 55, and we're running a 0 0.31 ohm build and running 4.12 volts to get it. And as you tell, she is vaping pretty good for a single coil that is not bad so there you go there's our derringer atomizer by pra or praxis vapors and this is the version one now let's go ahead and take a look at it and vape on it all right so now we got the praxis vapors in on the ipv3 li this is uh, one of my favorite dual 18 650 mods and you tell Got some good batteries in it, got some LGs, and running at 55 watts on a 0.31 ohm build. And here we go. I tell it's chucking really good. Uh, pretty good first build, actually. Got to break in those coils. And uh, I'll have a review about the juice I'm doing it's not really one of my favorites but it's okay to vape now <coughs> mm. that one's a little bit more warmer I wasn't really expecting that one um, I like switching in between uh, this one and my drop dead I do have a review up on this one this is particularly one of my favorites I just got but this one was actually my very first RDA that I've ever vaped on. 
Uh, this was actually my brother's and he had this for a couple of years and I actually recently just got it from him. But now uh, until I get a new screw in it, I can only run a single coil, which as you tell, it's vaping just fine. A good chunk of it is also the build that we have in it. That um, four wrap triple twisted uh, canthal around that, I believe a 516 bit was about a perfect uh, wrap and build for this. And I will show you guys how to build one of those. I already got some wire set aside, but I know you guys want to see it all done uh, from the get go. So we'll make a video about that one of these days too. But uh, I'm gonna take another one. And this will fit with uh, some of your other 510 drip tips. Uh, let me go ahead here and get one of them. Uh, you guys seen me vape on this one before, uh, TFB4. And I'll show you, I'm just sticking it in the top like usual. And <coughs> Got a little bit of a dry hit <coughs> with a little bit of alcohol because I just <laughs> cleaned this one. Mm. Uh, that was a bad combo. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and redrip this and send you guys off with a couple of good clouds. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got our reduced up and I'll send you guys off with a couple of clouds. Sorry for this video being a little bit longer than some of the other ones. Some of them might do that. I just want to tell you guys about the other hobby in the beginning of the video, like I mentioned and kind of showed you. And I have a couple other hobbies that will most likely go over, but I wanted to explain a little bit since we're in the process of moving everything over there, which is the door that's right behind me. Yeah, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and send you off with a couple more clouds on the Derringer, uh, the Derringer Atomizer by Praxis Vapors. And with it being very short, it does give you a really good flavor, especially with that twisted tip. But yeah.